Welcome back to the Marketing Sherpa Media Center here at IRCE. I'm Marketing Sherpa reporter Allison Banco, joined by Lenny Kay of Unlimited Furniture. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about your company. Unlimited Furniture is an online furniture retailer. Mm -hmm. We sell a mid-priced to high-end branded product on the internet. And you were talking to me about you have a lot of different distributors and you have to organize and kind of uh, keep track of, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we don't sell our own pr product. We sell product that other people manufacture. So as a result, we have to buy product from different suppliers that have warehouses in different parts of the country. And everyone uses different systems and different technologies. So the challenge has always been automating that process and making sure that the order fulfillment is as quick as and smooth as possible. And you were talking about that order fulfillment process and how maybe it before it was a little bit dicey. What were you doing? You said a mix of things when we were talking earlier. So the furniture industry in general is not very technology savvy. So very much working off Google Docs and working off very basic spreadsheets. And we created a, our own system to manage the order fulfillment process. And even when we had our system, communicating with the vendors was still a very much manual process. What we had to do, we had to maybe go on the vendor's portal and enter every order manually or send them an email and they had to enter it manually and the big thing for us was automation automating a lot of the processes connecting to our trading partners our suppliers and our shipping partners through EDI so that means in real time once an order is placed on our website it shows up in the vendor's portal and once they ship it out they'll automatically give us the tracking number all the information regarding the shipment and we're able to update our customers automatically without any manual involvement, without having to go on the portals, without having to even turn the computer on. So someone could buy something on the website and the order just shows up in their home. Fantastic, so automation was your solution. What are some of the successes you've seen as a result? How long have you been using automation? Uh, we've been using it uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, next week is our 10-year anniversary, so we've been around for a while. Just like here at IRCE, 10th year anniversary. Yeah, yeah June, <laughs> June 18th is our date. So, uh, you know, the big thing is eliminating mistakes because when we're doing things manually, subject to human error, so somebody puts in the wrong quantity or something or maybe orders the wrong color, it could be done on our side or the vendor side. If we're emailing them something, they have to do the data entry. Also eliminating duplicating efforts. You know, if we were to do something manual on our side and then the vendor would have to do something manual on their side, so we're able to successfully eliminate that. And also speed up processing time. If we were to email a purchase order to the vendor and wait for them to enter it and then manually uh, send it back to us, it might take a day or two days for them to do that, where now everything's happening in real time. And it sounds like now you're able to focus on more why you went into business and not bothering with Google Docs and all that sort of thing and just focusing on, on the automation to take care of it. Yeah, it frees up uh, a lot of the time right? because ordering furniture is not our core competency. We're good at selling furniture. We want to grow the business. We don't want to spend all the time during the day processing orders. Right. You know, today's day, day and age, this is, it's assumed that it's automatic, but it's not. And I know a lot of our competitors are still doing it manually. Really, so you have that little edge with this automation. Yeah. And looking at our audience, e-commerce, business owners, uh, marketers, why should they pay attention to automation? Why is it important if you had to sum up the benefits in, in short? There's a huge financial value in it, right? Just with automation, you could cut costs. You know, we also cut our operation expenses by 40% in the last year as a result of automation, as a result of getting more information in real time, not needing enough people to, not needing people to simply check order status or place orders because now computers do everything. Mm -hmm. So that's one argument. Number two, you want to be quick with your customers. So the quicker service you get, the quicker service you give, the more likely you get repeat business. So those two are the biggest ones. And that last point you made was about the customer. When we're having our guests here in the media center, the big theme is find any way you can to focus on that customer. Talk about how important that is, especially today in e-commerce. So one of the things that we're doing now is uh, actually we introduced this yesterday, we're introducing next day shipping. So you could buy something online and have it in your home tomorrow, which is a huge challenge for furniture. Yeah, absolutely. So, but for the customer, it's the absolute greatest thing because no one's expecting to get furniture the next day. They're expecting to get furniture the next month maybe. Mm -hmm. So we're able to do that and we could only do that with help of automation and technology. 
All right, excellent. Lenny, a lot of great points, a lot of key takeaways we got on automation. Thank you so much for joining us in our media center. And don't forget, you can view all of our videos online at marketingsherpa.com slash IRCE.